Hello my friends, today we are going to create a family tree using uh, Google Charts and uh, the one we are going to use is organization chart. Now it looks a little bit like this, we can also of course remake it to suit our needs. You can uh, read some description and it also says here that a family tree is a type of org chart and your next task is to make to create a family tree out of IT professions. We will not be writing everything from scratch, I think it's pointless, but we can copy all of the code which is provided as an example. So let's just start by copying uh, right from the HTML and down to the enclosing tag of HTML. It's Ctrl C and pass it in in whatever type of editor you would prefer to use. Right now I'm using the Notepad++ only because I'm used to it, only because I'm old school and I have been uh, teaching in this and I have been learning in this myself also. So if you like Sublime, please go ahead. Or if you like any other type of editors, please go ahead. If you don't have any editor on your computer, you are also free to use uh, the same old Notepad. Just type in notepad and you can also work in uh, this plain simple text editor now after copying all of them all of the code we have to save it as an HTML file so go to file save as choose your destination let's say I have a map that's called family tree on my desktop and I will call it, let's say, family tree. And the important part here is uh, save it as not a normal text file, but an HTML file, hypertext markup language file. And click on save. Now, we can uh, look at this code in a little bit more detail. If you, if you have saved it, saved it successfully, you can see that there's a new file here in your folder and you can open it with your regular double click. Now by default you will see the same organizational chart that Google provided as an example. Duh, it's sort of understandable. We have to modify it to suit our needs. Now first of all we can see that uh, basically everything is almost done for us but we have to al understand a little bit of the data. So, uh, the data is, you can imagine it as a table. Simple table in a Microsoft Word, or wherever you, you are working. Uh, and it has, right now, it has three columns. It has three columns. And we are adding the rows to the columns uh, with this data add, add rows. The three columns that we, are, we have right now is name, manager, and tooltip. And when we are adding rows, we have to add, we have to basically fill in all of, all three of these rows. We are saying that we have a table with three columns. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, columns. We have a table with three columns, and uh, each time we are adding a row, we have to fill in all of the columns. Right now, uh, you can look at this example, and you can see that Mike is present. He is in the beginning. In, in the top of our organizational chart and I hope that you try to Google IT professions if you did uh, you saw already that there are a lot of IT related professions and let's say that um, we can begin with an engineer because you can see later on we have a network engineer we have a computer hardware engineer uh, but the important thing is that design engineer it ends with an engineer so they should be connected in some way so instead of Mike we can write in our engineer so let's do that um, so let's write engineer in here basically if you don't know what's happening you can just substitute Mike to engineer everywhere you see um, and also here of course and he's not the president, he is, well, that's a tooltip, let's say, leave it the engineer. Yeah. And also him. Now, about the, uh, how to connect 
The question is how can we connect Mike with Jim, Mike with Alice, or in our case that would be engineer with, let's say, software engineer and engineer with a network engineer. You can see that here we have a column name. This is basically the name of our IT profession. And then the next column is manager. Um, we can rename it to parent. This is parent profession. Let's say parent prof and uh, tooltip which will be seen when you um, place your mouse pointer over this sort of squarey thing. Now, uh, how to connect them? We can see that here's an engineer this is, and uh, we will use the same engineer as a parent profession for other related professions. Okay, now let's say, let's change um, Jim. Let's change Jim to software engineer. And uh, also let's copy that here. And he's not a vice president, he's a software engineer. Now once we have uh, finished replacing the um, sort of mics and, and gyms to engineers and software engineers, after saving you can see that right now we have this unnecessary beginning which is not connecting to anything. Uh, it's it's related to these V's and V's, uh, these signif signify uh, let's say the beginning of the chart and uh, we can just remove the uh, first one, the engineer now let's try and save and look at what we have. Okay, now it's sort of going in the direction that we need this to go. Uh, then uh, you can see that here's um, the actual text about engineers and uh, software engineers is placed in this div. And here you can see that the style color, the, the font color uh, is red, the text is red, and the font style is italic. Now, for now, let's just delete that. It's not really necessary right now. And uh, also, I'll save it, look at the changes. Okay, a bit better. Now let's change, uh, let's add something new. Now, in the software engineer part, I would really like, oh, and uh, in other text bubbles, let's call them that, I would really like to use something else, like, uh, let's say, image. So I can place this image inside of the div. You can, you can imagine this div as being a sort of huge container. You can put whatever you like in this div. So right now, I'm going to put an image. And to do so, I have to type in IMG. SRC source, it's short for source, and I have to provide the correct source for some sort of image. Let's say I have a folder in uh, in here. You can see I have a folder images already prepared, and I will store all of my images in there. So images, and um, let's say, well, I have some icons in there. So this EMG or image with the correct source will place an actual image here in the this text bubble. Right now it's too huge, right? It's <laughs> the chart is going to look silly if I'm going to place such huge images all over it. So I can also here in the image properties I can also say that let's say width of this image is um, well, 50 pixels. That would be okay, I think. Now let's refresh. Yep, much better. Of course, I can see that I've made some sort of symbol here. Uh huh, it's here. Alright, looking better already. Now, what do we do if, let's say, we want uh, two professions spawning from the software engineer? Uh, not only, let's say, Bob, but I want to be, um, which will change something else but also whatever let's say right now it's Bob and uh, Jack what what can we do we can copy this Bob code faster than let's say we'll change Bob to Jim but as a second option which is the manager or the parent oh I forgot to change that parent we will leave the same software engineer 
and this will mean that Bob and Jim they have the same parents or in our case uh, they will have the same profession as their parent now uh, in the beginning when you are constructing your tree please don't don't bother with the uh, styling maybe so much styling is a completely different story now please concern yourself only with uh, the actual HTML and with actual JavaScript too and with this Google chart API to construct your tree now what else can we do we can also try and uh, put pictures in all of other text bubbly things of course uh, to do so we not only we have to uh, copy the image but let's copy the div part as well because it's highly likely that we will also change um, some styles and then we'll have to provide a style for this um, this div so um, I will copy the code starting from div and I will pass it in here in front of Alice and then I will close the div manually here let's save it and here you go uh, I have already done that so nothing changed but you can see that we also have an Alice here also we have a picture a cute little picture okay and also we can delete the software engineer part from here otherwise it's too much of a text now if you don't want to use the same picture of course you are free to do so I have other icons it's an Alice icon yeah it's cute of course you have to note where your text is for example here I have image first and then I have the text that's why it's displaying in the same exact way I have it in my code if you want it to be reverse reversed sure of course go ahead and this last part is a tooltip sometimes it glitches um, it will most correctly show in Google Chrome and I'm using Mozilla so I have to work on that of course you would like to add and we would like to add some pictures to other professions as well and uh, you can do so just by copying the same code we had for Alice like div and image and then later close the div after Jim let's say uh, you can change the image say to Marisa PNG it doesn't necessarily have to be an icon it can be in, J in PNG or JPEG whatever and let's save it and let's run it all right so it's looking a little bit more lively um, the problem is you cannot put this div with image anywhere you choose if your node if your text bubble has any children text bubbles related then it's gonna glitch and you have to work your way around it but I think it's pretty enough for a good start so have a nice day and good luck creating your family tree